Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Today on the kitchen table, um, as you can see, I'm going to be doing a bit of a bit of tinkering. Or I thought we were going to do a bit of tinkering, but I've had an idea, and maybe you can do a bit of tinkering. Um, today we're going. To, I've been sent. Uh, I've been sent something that's um, rather mysteriously called Black Ops. Um, so we're going to have a look at that. But before we do that, it's the kitchen table, um, and we need a. We need a beverage whenever we discuss drones, and I've decided I'm not going to break out the soldering iron, so uh, I think we're safe to have something uh, a little bit uh, a little bit alcoholic. And I am drinking this uh, Mount Benson Datum uh, 2011 Shiraz from Australia, which, of course, is very suitable for doing something geeky and techy because it's just got a lot of binary. I wonder if that actually says anything. Who knows? But um, cheers. Hmm. Boy, that's a good one. Let's move that out of the way, though, to avoid some spillage. Right. Those of you who've been subscribers for a while uh, may remember that way back when um, I got sent a little a little something by a company called buzzcam.co.uk um, to try and help with the situation that quite a lot of Vision Plus owners had been reporting, whereby the suspicion is that this bad boy here, which, if you're not aware, is the... Uh, the Wi-Fi, the high-powered uh, Wi-Fi sender unit in the Vision Plus was causing some interference, which meant that the GPS was sometimes marginal at getting a lock, especially if you weren't in completely open areas. Um, and there's a couple of things um, I showed you, and I'll put some links on if you haven't done them. I showed you a really simple mod that you can do that doesn't involve anything except moving a bit of sticky shielding and changing the location of the GPS wire just to make that more shielded. That helped some people, uh, like me, get a couple more satellites. It was completely neutral to others and some people reported worse. And then uh, Buzzcam sent me a special little thing that they designed which is a bit more of an elegant solution. Again, another link on the screen to the original shield that kind of clips into the, um, clips into the top shelf and creates a bit more of a sort of boosted shielding. This was particularly useful if you didn't have the uh, very latest V3 version with the where, where DJI had beefed up the shielding because they knew there was a problem as well. But it, it you know it wouldn't do any harm. And I like the fact that it was quick in and quick out. Uh, wasn't a permanent thing, didn't bust any warranties by messing about here. Um, but they've sent me uh, they've sent me their Black Ops version, which is a new uh, uh, dated version which has well a rather interesting addition as well as a slightly beefed up version of the uh, of the shield uh, which is quite as you can see even beefier than before with uh, with shielding which sits into these slots here underneath the tabs and that's it done as well as that the pack also comes with and this is where it gets a bit technical an upgraded GPS antenna. Now, under the um, under the shielding here, which here's one I've peeled earlier, and removed the screws from. Oh, get out! Here's the GPS receiver board, and that's all it looks like. A little thing, and that on the back there is the bit that is the important thing that receives the GPS signals, it's the antenna. And I don't know if you can see, but it's relatively thin. And if I compare it with this one, you can see it's about twice as thick, because this is a 4mm and this is a 2mm. So this kit uh, comes with kind of super belt and braces. So for those of you whose uh, Vision Plus is approaching uh, the end of its warranty, uh, you might want to do this extra mod to boost your GPS reception if it's something that you're having trouble with. Now, as I say, removing this is as easy as, as, as four screws. Um, and then to swap the antennas out, what you need to do is there is a single, I don't know if you see that central, central connector there, which goes through to a soldered post. Let's get the light so it's not so bright here. 
So what you need to do is desolder that, apply some heat from a soldering iron. It's not a very big bead of solder, to be honest. Uh, supply some heat from that and uh, prise that off. It's sort of stuck down. So prise and remove. And then replace it with, and you'll see the off-center the off um, connector pin there. Replace that in like that. Blob of solder. And you should have a boosted antenna which is more thoroughly shielded. That's the plan. Um, now they're selling the kits and the kits come with, it's quite a nice little touch, so they come with the shielding, they come with the uprated antenna for the GPS, they also come with a bit of a foam, uh, a foam pad there which is I think just for transit to keep that protected while it's being in transit but you could also use it just to protect the um, uh, protect it from the, the the shell and it also nice little touch they just come with a spare set of DJI stickers so if you've had to take your stickers off you can replace them with some shiny new ones or like me exacto knife no one will know so um yeah I was sort of all getting ready to do this and I suddenly thought well a, I'm not actually sure at the moment where my soldering iron is, and B, because the the sort of things I've been doing, where I've been, where people are, are selling mods that aim that purport to make things better, be it range, be it GPS reception. What seems to be going down really well with you guys is if I say, look, I've modded my Phantoms in the past. I've got the soldering iron out. I've messed around with them. I've taken the top off. I've done various things, and so it's not, you know. I don't feel like it's a particularly big deal to do this, but I know that some people may be coming to the end of their warranty and thinking, well, I'd like to do something, but I don't want to bust it. And so what I propose to do is give one of these kits away uh, with the usual proviso, that you just do the modification, let, let us know, document it with video or stills, let us know how you found it. How easy was it to desolder this? Is it something that anyone could do who's not done it before? Um, and... Did you get the results? Did you get an improved GPS reception? And is your Vision 2 Plus or Phantom 2, if you wish, uh, if you have issues with it, uh, are they holding a higher satellite lock? And are you seeing some improvements on that? Um, so that's what I propose to do. Now, the, the kits are being sold um, from their website, which is uh, buzzcam.co.uk. Oh, look, they've got one of those funky QR codes. Look, pause and go back and scan it, or you could just type buscam.co.uk. Um, they're selling these for, um, now there's three pricings, let me get it right, there's, there's UK, Europe, rest of the world. UK, $16.95, um, Europe, $17.95, rest of the world, $18.95. They're also still selling the original, just the shield, just the original GPS booster shield, which is, you know, the one, and that's $8.95 and $9.95. They're still doing those. Um, so I think if you've been suffering problems, then this could be worth a try. But like I said, it's a bit more involved because it involves taking things apart, getting a soldering iron on this. And, you know, you've got to be careful because one of these units isn't super cheap. And there's a couple of components quite close to that. So I really want a real world experience from somebody about how easy or otherwise it is to swap out this antenna. So if you'd like to do that, then the usual rules apply. Just um, put a comment below to that effect. Um, and uh, we'll run this for a couple of weeks. Where are we now? It's um, 1st of September. Happy September. We'll run this for, um, for a couple of weeks. I might, just to keep it tidy, I might run it to the same date as the, um, as the competition we're doing for the DBS P3 mod. So 15th of September. Drop a comment in on the 15th of September. I'll hit my randomizer. I'll pick somebody at random, providing that you uh, tell me you are going to um, document it for us and let us know. I will send you this buzzcam.co.uk black ops kit for you to install. And let us know in a real world installation from somebody who's not done any kind of GPS mod before, preferably please. I don't want anyone who's a, a, a sort of a super dab hand that has done lots of mods. I want someone who's really genuinely not poked a soldering iron at their aircraft before you can fit it and you can tell us if it makes a difference and I think that will be a much 
better test of, of whether or not people think it's going to be worth spending anywhere between 17 and 19 pounds depending on where you live there we go um thanks to buzzcam.co.uk for sending it through um they didn't have any idea that i was going to do um going to do it as a real world test thing um, because like everybody who sends stuff through for the kitchen table there and there are no strings attached nobody gets to uh tell me what to say and nobody gets any editorial control so um you know, you want to stand by your product, that's cool. We'll do what we're going to do with it. Um, that's it. Uh, interesting. I want to, very interested to see if you notice a difference from this upgraded uh, antenna and in combination with the shield, if you're finding that it overcomes any issues you might have with your Vision Plus. So pop a comment in and uh, join in. As ever, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for liking and subscribing and supporting the channel. If you look in the description below, there are lots of ways that you can do that um, and, and help out. And the more the more uh, people we get uh, watching, the more likely it is that people will send me stuff and we can do more competitions and giveaways and tests and all that kind of stuff. So it's all a nice virtuous circle. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon on the kitchen table. But until then, cheers.